Every single day, more Sword and Shield era packs get opened up, which means these packs are getting harder and harder to come by. With Pokemon Center selling out of almost every Sword and Shield booster box, let's take a look at some of the other products that have packs with that chance to pull those amazing alternate arts. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I just wanted to go through some of the Pokemon Center's products, what they have left from the Sword and Shield era, and what you can pick up that'll, you know, potentially give you Evolving Skies packs, or give you that chase at a Giratina, whatever it may be. But before we get started, 87% of you still aren't subscribed. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. If you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. If you've watched other videos and you haven't subscribed yet, then please consider hitting that button. It's free, it helps me out a lot. Let's grow this channel. I'm hoping to hit 2000 subs by my birthday at the beginning of June. All right, let's get into the video. All right guys, so the Pokemon Center, let's get into it. There are a lot of products still on here with good packs. I know the prices might not be great, but you can take this information and kind of translate it to you know your LGS stores or whatever and maybe find a better deal. Something like this, Professor Juniper Milk Carton. I know a lot of people may have slept on this. I know your packs get a little crumbled in there and all that stuff. I've seen these really cheap. It retails at $40 on the Pokemon Center website. I've seen it as low as $30 if you convert from uh, here in Canada, 40 Canadian. Uh, GameStop had a big deal on these milk cartons for a while. I was getting the Cyrus and Clara ones for $31 and I could get the Junipers for 40. Pack wise in these, you know, it's always kind of gonna differentiate. My personal advice is before you buy any of these items off the Pokemon Center, watch a few or skim through a few opening videos to just see what kind of packs you can expect. They will vary across regions, you know, if you're in the UK versus Canada, say. Some of the UK boxes are a bit smaller, like one less pack, they might have different packs, whatever it may be. Pokemon Center sometimes doesn't show the packs that come in it, or they put random packs. Like here for Professor Juniper on PC, they have Sword and Shield Base, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, Battle Styles, and Three Chilling Rains. I've opened these, a couple of them, and I've never got Sword and Shield Base. I don't think I've ever got Darkness or Vivid either. I watched a few openings, and it seems for the most part you're going to be getting three Brilliant Stars, two Fusion Strikes, an Evolving Skies, and a Chilling Rain. So getting, you know, that Chilling Rain, Evolving Skies, and Fusion Strike packs right now is pretty great. The Brilliant Stars is also great. You're getting really good sets here, four really good sets, seven packs for $40. I think that's, you know, great potential. A little bit of a hidden gem, you know, if you want Evolving skies or chilling rain you just want to open a pack here and there this might be something worth buying while you can still get it like i said you might be able to get it cheaper somewhere else but 40 dollars on the pc right now you're guaranteed some good packs it might be worth checking out next up i want to stay kind of in the realm of older packs so speaking of Fusion Strike, we've got Fusion Strike three pack blisters. Those are still a great investment, $12.99 on the PC. I know, you know, Pokey investing on uh, Reddit there. They went hard and they sold out the Espeon three packs about a week ago. I was gonna pick some up actually, and then I got home that day and noticed all that news and they were sold out. So I did end up picking up a bunch of these uh, EV versions. Might as well, I have some Espeons already sitting around. So these three pack blisters, you get three Fusion Strike packs, you know, with the booster box going crazy, in value it's only a matter of time before these start going up you know 12.99 for three packs i think is well worth it you can also get the sleeved blisters on here so one pack for four bucks pretty much the same deal if you want to just get a bunch of sleeved blisters it doesn't look like there's a maximum you can buy so if you wanted to stock up on these be my guest grab as many as you want these packs you know has potential again it's fusion strike it's older if you just want to stock up on fusion strike to either to open it or to sell it down the line or, or trade for singles or something this might be your best shot you know these will sell out soon i don't know if you'll find them cheaper than four dollars anywhere else i think that's a really good price for this set considering the booster box is well over 200 dollars now and speaking of booster boxes as of yesterday battle styles is now sold out on pokemon center and that means the only remaining sword and shield booster box is silver tempest it's just a matter of time days weeks maybe before silver tempest is sold out on the pokemon center you know 143 bucks great deal i think these are going to climb up i know they're about that on uh the secondary marketplace if you want silver tempest pick it up you know i was getting them a little bit cheaper here and there uh back on release i saved a couple so i'm not going to be picking these up but don't sleep on it you know a lot of people me included i was sleeping on buying lost origin i thought i'd have a couple weeks before it sold out and then out of nowhere boom it was gone brilliant stars immediately followed then battle styles it's going to be silver tempest just a matter of time i'd imagine before the end of june this will be gone 
maybe sooner. So this is kind of a good pickup. It's like a now or never type situation if you want it for this price. I don't know if you can get it cheaper elsewhere, but Silver Tempest stock is going to be dwindling. It's a four per person limit. Strange that they won't let you buy a case of it, but understandable if this is like a product that's dwindling there at the warehouse. So next up, still on the same kind of topic there, trainer gallery sets. We're looking at Brilliant Stars, three pack blisters. Again, $12.99, you get three Brilliant Stars packs. Now that the booster box is sold out, these are great to pick up. You know, you're getting three packs for 13 bucks. Well worth it. You got Glaceon and you also got Leafeon in there. Both of these great options. I've seen people talking in the uh, Reddit group about buying these out. So if you want Brilliant Stars for a good price, I'd consider picking these up. I feel like Brilliant Stars is going to be one of those sets where, you know, five years down the line, everyone's going to go back and be like, damn, that was an awesome set. Let me open some up. You know, the Pokey Revs and all those guys, I'm sure they'll be ripping these in the future. Once that Charizard fatigue is kind of, you know, leveled out and people want a Chase Charizard again, I feel like this will be the set they're going for. All right, next up, we have a little bit more of an expensive box. 40 bucks for the Lucario V-Star Premium Collection. I don't think I ever opened these up. I have one sealed away somewhere just because I like the way the box looks. But you got a Lucario promo, you got the full art promo, and you got a uh, big jumbo card and a pin. I checked out a few openings for this. Like I said uh, earlier, the UK had five pack version. I think over here in North America, we had six packs, but it looks like some pretty good packs. From what I've been seeing, it's two brilliant stars, three fusion strike and a chilling rain. Again, basically any product that you can get with these older sets, like anything that's like second block sword and shield, you know, fusion strike, evolving skies or chilling rain. Some might say battle styles, to be honest, I don't care about battle styles, you know, not even in the slightest. The alt arts are cool. Well, some of them are cool. You know, you got the Empoleon, the Tyranitar. The only card I really love in that set is the Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX alternate art. What a mouthful to say. I love that card. It looks like one of those old school, like Japanese style paintings. Really like it. But yeah, this Lucario box, getting that Chilling Rain pack is a nice bonus, as well as that three Fusion Strike and two Brilliant Stars lineup. I think it's amazing. 40 bucks, a little steep. I don't know if you could pick this up somewhere else. You know, you're getting six packs for $40, a little bit expensive per pack. I don't think this one will sell out soon, but in the future it might. So if you want it, maybe keep an eye out on it. Now I want to bring this up because these sold out recently. I was going to buy more of them. The other week I bought a couple random things from Pokemon Center just to see what packs were inside. I grabbed one of these Divergent... I smacked that really hard, sorry. I grabbed one of these Divergent Powers tins and uh, it had two Evolving Skies packs in it. Really good deal. You know, 25 USD, 35 Canadian. It was a great purchase. I went to buy more, boom, completely sold out. But doing my research for this video, I noticed that there is a chance to be getting some Evolving Skies in these hidden potential tins. That's the Giratina, the Gallade, and the Rodom tins. I watched a few openings. It seemed like uh, it kind of depends. It might be a batching thing. I saw some Canadian YouTubers opening this up and getting two Chilling Rain, a Fusion Strike, and two Lost Origin. And then I saw people like Pokerev and Primetime Pokemon opening it up and getting two Lost Origin, a Fusion Strike, and two Evolving Skies. So your difference is basically Chilling Rain or Evolving Skies, both really, really good sets. These I think are worth buying. You know, like I said, it's kind of risky. You don't know what you're getting. Pokemon Center advertises the uh, Chilling Rain version. I've seen more people get the Evolving Skies packs, but also these have been out for a while. I don't know if maybe they made other waves, you know, if they packed a bunch, you know, chunk by chunk, right? Oh, we have a bunch of Chilling Rain, here's this. Oh, we have a bunch of Evolving Skies, here's that. They could be packed differently now. Maybe there's some that are like three Fusion Strike, two Lost Origin, who knows? But anyways, you know, stuff like this, I would consider maybe buying one, and if it's really good, buying more, right? Like, I, I don't know if I would go and buy a case of 10 of these Rodom tins without knowing for sure myself what is in it. That's kind of also why I don't really like sitting on tins, personally. I know I have a bunch of random tins, you know, those little three-pack tins you get at, you know, Dollar General and stuff there in the States. We've got them at Walmart here. I don't know for the life of me what's in those. They change constantly, even... Even here recently, I've opened them up and got like Lost Origin, Silver Tempest, or I've gotten Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage. You know, it's it's random. Like, I'll get old packs, new packs, whatever. But honestly, this might be your best potential at Evolving Skies. If you really want Evolving Skies right now and you don't want to pay a big penny, I'd recommend picking up a couple of these, checking it out. Missed the shot on those Divergent Powers tins or whatever they were, but Hidden Potential has a chance, a potential at Evolving Skies. 
so I wouldn't miss out on that. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Again, just a friendly reminder, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider. It's free, it helps me out a lot, it helps me reach a bigger audience, and with that, I could potentially give out some more products. You know, once we hit 2,000, I'm gonna announce something special. We'll be doing a giveaway, hopefully some Evolving Skies in there for you guys. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.